Hello dear customizers and racers. Many of you have asked about the triple screen setup I have and what are the settings that need to be done to make it look like this. So in this video we're going to make a detailed walkthrough through all the settings that needs to be done but also some hardware setuping of the screen itself. So let's begin. So the screen that I'm using are Samsung G7 32 inch displays. They are capable of 240Hz refresh rate and their screen is curved. The first thing you need to think about when building a triple screen setup is the monitor stand. This is the stand that I made by myself and you can check it in this video. Just click on the link. Second thing you might want to consider is this ASUS free bezel kit. The bezel free kit is leaned over on this part of the monitors and the transparent tape is holding it in place. The angle of the screen is 130 degrees as you can see and that's the angle that ASUS recommends for this free bezel kit. So let's jump in the cockpit and see the rest of the settings that needs to be done. can turn off this studio light and you can also turn off the room lighting so you can see how it looks this is it so the first thing you want to decide if you want to go with Nvidia surround or AMD affinity depending on which graphics card you have or you just want to set it up like uh, normal triple screen desktop settings without running this special kind of drivers provided from NVIDIA. And this second scenario is actually the one that I decided to go with. So the first thing why I decided to go with this second settings because you can do this, you can be in iRacing and just click your Windows key and you can do whatever you like and not like in like in uh, full screen sometimes you can do it sometimes sometimes it might crash or what what not i had some problems so i did it like this and of course you can uh, use your desktop as normal like everything you want to do like i don't know do some settings it's no problem do some settings leave the screen like this while you are driving it it just doesn't care about it if it's set up like this and when i was uh, setting it up uh, with nvidia surround it was uh, running in full screen so some sometimes this worked sometimes not not so much uh, this setup is a little bit more complicated but we are going to go through it one more thing you want to know about this setup is if you have a fourth monitor for displaying uh, some data you might want uh, if that monitor is capable of on only running 60 hertz then uh, windows are going to lock this uh, refresh rate to 60 hertz and you will not be able to run your 240 hertz monitors on their native refresh rate it's even going to look like they're running 240 and windows are going to display them running at 240 but they will be running at 60 or whatever the refresh rate of the lowest end monitor is. So bear that in mind. I tried to get around this. I didn't found, find any way to do it. In the end, I had to disconnect the fourth display. If somebody knows how to do it, uh, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to learn something new. So let's go into settings to see how it's set up. So three screens, native resolution, of course, extend desktop to the display, and they are running at 240 Hertz. So the second thing you want to do is open your iRacing folder. It's located here documents iRacing and then edit your app file scroll down you need to edit these lines and they need to look exactly like this after you've done that 
exit click save of course if you modify the file and then you can go into iRacing so the graphic setting for iRacing looks like this so this is what I found to work best for triple screen and the best performance so you can copy these settings if you like and now you can go into monitor settings so very nice iRacing has full support for triple curve screens so you enter your monitor wide what you need to do is measure your monitor wide set it here then you need to put your bezel wide and it's set to minus two and that's a great thing because as you can see there is nothing lost in the screen you can see everything because if I set it to the white that the, the real bezel is you're going to lose a part of your screen because of these lenses that are uh, warping the image to make it look like there is no bezel then you have the radius curvature it's 1000 for the Samsung G7s and this is important one you need to check this render scene using three projections and this of course then you have viewing distance so you measure the distance of your eyes from the screen and you set it here so depending on your dry, dry position you might want to change this for me it's like this I found it ideal field of view while driving can be computed but it's for me it's set up like this I found it ideal for me and that's it one more thing you want to do is press ctrl f12 while you are in replay screen and then you get this nice uh, setup for your camera view so you can change this uh, settings however you like but this is how you want to do it if you want to replicate my setup and of course you will need to do this for every car you want to drive when you are done just click save car and make some file name for you as you can see I have some cameras for VR when you are done it should be looking like this and another thing I would like to talk to you about is uh, setting distance of the screens from your eyes I tried many positions I first put them here above the base but I didn't like that because uh, then uh, I could not set this field of view to be so high I could not see my side windows like this so I decided to make this extension for the DD2 base so the screen goes as low as possible so we get this perfect view of the dashboard and I can set the wheel just like it is on the real car of course you can put your monitors above the base if you don't have this extension it will be pretty similar to my view maybe a few centimeters more away from you but it's pretty similar and you will not have this perfect view of the dashboard some guys turn their monitors upside down so you can literally turn them upside down then you have this little tiny bezel compared to this thick one so you can get a little bit lower but it's a bit extreme but if it works it works so that's it for my setup I would not recommend going into Nvidia Surround because uh, some people reported even lower performance with it than using this setup and I think that is also true with this setup you get around 160 frames when you're alone on the track using the 3080 
MSI Supreme there so pretty high-end graphics card and while you are in the race you will get uh, you could get even down to 80 frames but uh, really rare it's around I think 100 or uh, uh, something like that is like a 100 to 130 depending how much cars uh, is displayed so in the worst case scenario it would be 80 but really rare and sometimes 90 and like that but it's it's drivable it's okay most of the time you are not uh, watching uh, too many cars so only when it's crowded you get some low fps and that's it think I covered it all if I didn't cover it all let me know in the comments I might help you out if anything further is needed that's it share like and subscribe of course see ya